All right, to say you're going somewhere, you're going to use the model ir plus a plus el or la. Ir plus a plus el or la. And that's how we say we're going to go somewhere, like a location. So here are some examples on the board. La casa, the house or home, la iglesia, the church, el gimnasio, the gym, el parque, the park. And of course, la casa and la iglesia are both feminine nouns, and gimnasio and parque are both masculine nouns. And so the way we write these in sentences uh, are going to change just a little bit. So the formula or the model that you want to keep in mind is ear plus a plus l or la. Alright, so to use la casa, la iglesia, el gimnasio, and el parque in example sentences, I have the following. All in the yo form, voy a la casa, voy a la iglesia, voy al gimnasio, voy al parque. If you don't get all of this copied down right now, we can go back in a few minutes and you can get, you can get the material again. But for right now, what I want you to focus on is you've got a la and al. A la, al. So there's a difference. When the destination is masculine singular, not masculine plural, just masculine singular, you're going to use a contraction. The contraction is, al, is a formation of a and el. But if the destination is a feminine noun, it's a la. And of course, the preposition a means at or to, t-o. At or to. So it takes a little bit of practice. Here's a step-by-step -step process. Ear plus a plus l or la. Step one, we're going to conjugate the verb ir according to the subject. I'll have those listed for you, but just to rehash what we've learned in previous days or in Spanish one, the yo form is voy, the tu form is vas, usted, el, ella, va, nosotros, vamos, ellos, van, ustedes, van. The verb ir is highly irregular. It's, it's a kind of a crazy verb in Spanish. Step two, we're going to determine if the location is a masculine noun or a feminine noun and also if it's singular or plural. And in this case today, we're only going to be working with singular nouns. Step three, if it's masculine, you're going to combine a and el to form al. And then step four, you'll write your sentence. Here is the verb ir conjugated in the present tense. Repitan, voy, vas, va, vamos, van, very good. Okay, vamos a practicar, we're going to do some practice sentences. I, I've not conjugated or done any contractions yet, but I want you to see the elements of each sentence. In sentence number one, for example, we have the pronoun tú the infinitive verb ir, and then we have the destination, el restaurante, the restaurant. Look at sentence number five. Ella, ir, el cine, the movie theater. Sentence number seven. Usted, ir, la casa, 
And remember, if your destination is masculine singular, you have the al contraction. If it's feminine singular, you have a la, a la. So here are all of these example sentences. If you don't, I'm a slow writer. If any of you are slow writers, and you can't get all eight, copy at least four, two examples of al and two of a la. Repitan, tu vas, everybody please, tu vas, al restaurante, and that's, you go to the restaurant. Numero tres, repitan, yo voy, al correo, muy bien. Numero seis, ellos van, everybody please, ellos van, a la biblioteca. Excelente. And this is how we say in Spanish that we're going to a destination. These sentences translated are, you go to the restaurant, we go to the swimming pool. You go to the post office. He goes to the theater. She goes to the movie theater or the movies. They go to the library. You go to the house or you go home. Maria and Anna go to the high school. Yes? What's the last word number for me? Teatro. Theater. Okay. Theater. Like a play production theater or uh, amphitheater. Okay. All right, if you need to see these slides again in just a moment, I'll go back. <coughs> the next, or the, the second half of our review for today is talking about doing something, to do something. And ir takes on a different model. This one's a little easier in my personal opinion. Ir plus a plus infinitive. Ir plus a plus infinitive. And this is literally saying like, I'm going to clean my room. We're going to cook a meal. I'm going to read the book. You're going to study English. Things like that. Repitan, jugar. Ver. Ver. Dormir. Dormir. Asistir. Asistir. Very good. Uh, quiz question. Which which of these verbs are stem changing? Christian. Dormir. Dormir. And there's one more. Jugar. Jugar. Muy bien. See? Jugar and dormir are both stem changing verbs. Jugar is a U to U stem changing verb. Dormir is O to U E, stem changing verb. Okay, moving along. The steps here are a little easier. Number one, conjugate ir according to the subject. Step two, add a. Step three, add the infinitive verb. Step one, conjugate the verb according to the subject. Step two, add the preposition a. Step three, add the infinitive verb. All right. Practicamos the same setup as before, same subjects as before, but we're talking about different things instead of going to a destination, we're going to do something. Um, I want you guys to do numbers two, four, six, and eight by yourselves, and we'll go over this in five minutes. Okay, so what we've done for number one, we conjugate ir in the tu form, tu vas a limpiar el cuarto dos. Nosotros vamos a comer una pizza. Check your answers. Tres, yo voy a leer un libro. Cuatro, 
él va a comprar un libro, cinco, ella va a ver una película, seis, ellos van a lavar el carro, siete, usted va a pasar tiempo con amigos, y número ocho, María y Ana van a estudiar, María y Ana van a estudiar. Okay. For our next activity, I'm going to try this out a little bit further, go a little deeper with this. Move it again.